Hi everyone, welcome back to the videos. In this video, we'll talk about how we can create a connection to our Oracle database that we installed earlier from Talent Open Studio for Data Integration application now. So I've got these steps on my screen now, so you can refer to these steps or otherwise I, uh, I'll jump onto my application screen now to take you guys through the demo. So let's dive in. So I'll switch over to my application now. So I'm here in my Talent Open Studio for Data Integration application. So here I will expand. So to create any database connection, you have to uh, go to the repository section here in, 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 the, uh, in the home interface screen. And I will expand the metadata section here. And the first option I get is the database connections. And I'll right click on the database connections and click on create connection. When I do that, I get a dialog box which asks me for some information. So the first thing is the connection name. So I can give any name for the connection. So I'll give it Oracle Local DB. Uh, pretty much similar to what I gave in my uh, SQL developer application uh, if I want I can give a purpose or I can just give a description this connection is to connect to local Oracle database click on next the next next window asks for what kind of database are you trying to connect to now Talon has got connections to pretty much all kind of databases uh, from AS400 to Amazon to Impala to uh, Interbase. But we, what we are looking for is an Oracle database now. So if I scroll it, scroll down, uh, what we need is we can use either Oracle with SID, service ID, or we can use Oracle with service name. So both will work in our case. So I'll just take the first one, Oracle with SID. And what we need to do is fill in all these all these details. And now the login name is the username, which is the default username here, which is system. So I'll enter system here. Password is the is the password uh, which, which you would have set up while installing the database. So I'll enter my password. Server is localhost in this case. Port is already populated 1521, which is correct. So I do not need to uh, change that. SID is the global database name or the service ID that we entered while installing the database again. So I will enter ORCL1, which is what I did. And the next thing we need to do is to test connection. Click on test connection to see if my connection works. So when I click on this, it says Oracle local database connection successful. So when it says successful, it means it's able to connect to the database using these properties. So I'll click on OK here. And once I know uh, that my success, uh, my, my connection is going uh, connecting successfully I can just click on finish and that should create my connection under database connection so if you see now I've got a arrow drop down arrow here so if I click on this I've got my first connection and I can create uh, connections to multiple different databases um, one by one so and all those connections will sit here under the database connection so let's say if I had a technology one database or or some um, SQL database I could create any number of connections here and then I can use all those connections uh, to import data in the same job and or vice versa to import or export data from uh, into those data from those databases or export data into those databases so I've got my first connection created here Oracle and we'll look in the next video uh, we'll look at how we can we can scan uh, we can scan a text file uh, or a CSV file to create a metadata for a CSV file.
If you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel and share it with others who might find this valuable too. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.